calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by. Dick Tracy is on the air. Once again, the makers of Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice, those two nourishing, delicious cereals that are shot from guns, bring you another thrilling Dick Tracy adventure. Hear those big guns? They're making puffed wheat and puffed rice, those two delicious cereals that are shot from guns right in the Quaker plant to give you nourishing wheat and rice in their most adjustable form. The wholesome, sun-ripened grains are actually exploded to eight times their normal size, and that makes them especially easy to digest, so thousands of boys and girls and grown-ups the country over can get the trigger-fast food energy they need to be as alert and strong as Dick Tracy is, quickly and easily. And you get it in two swell breakfasts that taste even better than they look, and boy, they look good. Mother and Dad enjoy puffed wheat and puffed rice, too, because they're so different from ordinary cereals. The plump, crisp, nut-like grains of goodness fairly melt in your mouth. So join that great happy family of thousands of puffed wheat and puffed rice fans. Ask Mother to get you some Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice from the grocer. In our last episode, we learned how Dryden Small, the Egyptologist whom Dick Tracy had been trying to protect, was seriously wounded by Humi Batik, the man with the yellow face. Batik claimed that Small had stolen from the cult of Osiris a black pearl said to be the heart of the god of Osiris. Tracy, who had been shot in the leg while Batik was escaping, is trying to solve two problems. Where is Humi Batik, and where is the Black Pearl of Osiris? As we continue our story, we find ourselves at the pier where the SS Marvania has just docked. Tracy, Pat, and Junior have been watching the passengers disembark, trying to find Humi Batik, when suddenly... Well, I've got to hand it to you, Tracy. I would never have suspected that Humi Batik might be hiding in that mummy case. It would never have occurred to me. Well, we're not sure he's in there yet. He may not be, you know. Mm. Yeah, there's something to that. All right, boys, pry up that lid. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Draw your gun, Pat, and stand ready. You may need us. Right. Well, we were wrong. The man with the yellow face isn't here. That's a mummy, all right, Dick. Yes, yes, so it is. Stand back, Julia. Just to be sure, Pat, I think... I think I'll put a bullet in it. No, no, Tracy. In the name of those tears, I command you, stop. Dick, it's not a mummy after all. It's Batik, the man with the yellow face. I recognize his voice. Yes, yes, and so do I. I rather suspected he'd be there. Unwind that sheet, boys. Okay. Come on, boys, come on. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Come on, put it on the side there. Take the wrappings off his feet. Yeah, they're off now, Mr. Tracy. Thanks. Well, Batik, have you anything to say? What can I say, Mr. Tracy? You, you have captured me. I bow to you, sir. You had your duty to do as you saw it, Batik, and I had mine. If I was to be caught, I'm glad it was by you, Mr. Tracy. At least you understand and respect my purpose. One thing only do I regret. I did not find the black pearl of Osiris before you caught me. Take him to the tombs, Pat. Where are you going? Down to headquarters at once to see Dr. Goldman and get this bullet probed out of my leg. It's beginning to hurt pretty badly. Well, that hurts, I know, Tracy, but I'll have it in a few moments. Go ahead, Dr. Goldman. I can stand it. Gosh, Dick, does it hurt that bad? You sure can take it. Well, it could take almost anything, Junior, if you make up your mind to it. One moment now, Tracy. I can't believe I've got the bullet. Ah, uh, there, there it is. Peculiar-looking thing. Smallest bullet I've ever seen. Yes, I've never seen one quite like it. Cooper, the ballistics expert, would be very much interested in this bullet. And I'm very much interested myself. The ballistics department is right across the hall. Why don't you call Cooper in? I'd, I'd like him to take this bullet and examine it for markings. All right. Here, I'll put this temporary dressing on. Be back in a moment. That bullet came from Dryden Small's gun, didn't it, Dick? Yes, Junior. Peculiar little gun. Say, Dick, have you got any idea where the black pearl of Osiris can be? Not the slightest, Junior. But I've got to find it. You don't feel towards this batik fellow the way you do towards, well, towards criminals, do you, Dick? Well, he's wounded a man and must pay for it, Junior. He's a criminal, yes. But he, too, has certain rights. And I must do all in my power to recover for him and his people that which has been stolen from them. That black pearl is theirs. It's part of their religion. And I'm going to see that they get it back. 
Well, Tracy, I hear the doc has relieved you of a piece of lead. Didn't know you were going in for collecting them on your person. <laughs> uh, Cooper, come on in. Right. Yes, here it is. What do you think of it? Yeah. Queerest looking bullet I've ever seen. Like to add it to my collection, if you don't mind, Tracy. Not at all, Cooper. But I'd like to have a report on it first, if you don't mind. A sure thing. I'll analyze it this afternoon and give you my detailed findings by this evening. Thanks a lot, Cooper. Well, Doc, if you'll just bandage that leg up, I'll be getting down to the tombs. I want to have a talk with Homi Batik. Uh, Batik's in cell four, down this way, Mr. Tracy. Thank you. Come on, Junior. Yeah, right behind you, Dick. Hey, someone here to see you, Batik. I have no wish to see anyone. It's Tracy, Batik. Oh, Tracy, welcome. I... I'm afraid I cannot offer you a great deal in the way of comfort. Oh, that's quite all right. Comfort's a small matter. I do not believe I have met the young man with you. Oh, this is Junior. How do you do? How do you do, sir? I am glad to see, Mr. Tracy, that your leg has not been seriously injured. I, I have worried about it. You see, I am not really a criminal. I detest force in any shape, but it was necessary. Well... Fortunately, that pearl handle revolver belonging to Dryden Small was a toy and nothing more. Ah, yes, Small. How is he, Mr. Tracy? I have been worried about even him. He's in the hospital. He's been placed under arrest. and will be removed to prison as soon as possible. And what of me, Mr. Tracy? Well, Batik, a board of inquiry is investigating your case now. Much as I understand your motives for what you did, despite the fact you say it was in self-defense, the machine of the law must take its course. Ah, I understand perfectly. I do not care what happens to me, so long as I know the black pearl of Osiris is safe. Have you... have you found it as yet? Not as yet. But since it was stolen from you, it's my duty to find it and return it if I can. The question is, once I've found the pearl, how can I return it to Egypt? I... I'm afraid you may not be in a position to take it yourself. <laughs> Quite right. Uh, however, there is a representative of the cult of Osiris here in America... He has been to visit me, and he is taking care of matters for me. Once the black pearl is found, he will carry it back to Egypt and to Osiris. I see. You know, Batik, for the life of me, I can't understand why Small stole that black pearl. It isn't valued that highly, in money at least. It has some monetary value, yes. But it has even a greater value to collectors of, uh, shall I say, curiosities? I see. Here in America, there is a group of men who make their living by stealing treasures. Treasures of art and other things, such as the black pearl. These men will stop at nothing to get that black pearl. And by the way, let me warn you against these treacherous forces if you should find the black pearl. From the moment you get the pearl in your possession, your life will be in danger. If these men are as powerful as you say they are, how did you intend to get the black pearl back to Egypt safely? And if I find the pearl, how will your friend hope to get it back safely? You see this ring on my finger, Mr. Tracy? Yes. Gee, that's a strange-looking ring. It has a scab on top of it. Yes. This is the luck ring of Osiris. The luck ring? Yes. Wherever I am, whatever trouble I may be in, I have but to rub this ring, and Osiris will do what is best for me. You just rub the ring and you have good luck, huh? Precisely, my young friend. Then you placed complete confidence in this ring. You felt that it would protect the black pearl until you reached Egypt. Yes, I have every confidence in it, as should all who own one like it. But it is more than a ring of good luck, Mr. Tracy. Look. Gee, the top comes off. There's a secret compartment in the ring, huh? Ah, yes, a secret compartment made to fit the black pearl. I intended to put the pearl in there, seal the ring, and carry it back with me to Egypt in that manner. Hmm. Well, that would have been a very clever hiding place. Few people would suspect that that fascinating ring contained a secret compartment. Well, I'd like to have a ring like that. I could carry secret messages in it and everything. After you find the pearl, you will have to keep it with you a few days. A friend of mine will come to you for it. And so, here is my ring. Take it. Keep it with you always. I... I can only say thank you, Batik. I will continue the search for the Black Pearl. And I have a feeling I'm going to find it. And it's my hope that in a short time you will be able to return once again to your own country 
to Egypt and to Osiris. That is most kind of you, Mr. Tracy. Excuse me, Mr. Tracy. Yes? There's a phone call for you, sir. Oh, I'll be right there. Well, Batik, I'll see you again soon. And thank you for the ring of Osiris. Remember the secret compartment. Remember also that wherever you are, whatever trouble you are in, you have a great friend in Osiris. A great friend worthy of great faith and capable of bringing you good luck at all times. Thanks again. Coming, Junior? Yeah, sure. Gee, that sure is a swell ring. Uh, this phone? Uh, yes, Mr. Tracy. Thanks. Hello? Hello, Tracy. Oh, hello, Cooper. What is it? Uh, Tracy, come down here to the Ballistics Bureau as fast as you can. But what is it? What's happened? Tracy, that bullet they took out of your leg is the most amazing bullet I've ever seen, in more ways than one. Uh, I can't talk on the phone, but for heaven's sake, get down here as fast as you can. What is Cooper of the Ballistics Bureau so excited about? Why does he want Dick Tracy to come down as fast as he can? Strange adventures await the great detective and his friends. But now it's time for the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol meeting. And the makers of Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice, those specially delicious, nourishing cereals, invite you to attend. Here's Dick Tracy, Jr., your patrol president now. The meeting will now come to order. Say, wasn't that some ring that Homie Batik gave to Dick? Boy, it has lots of lucky symbols on it. And you should see the secret compartment in it. Dick will be always able to use that ring, won't he? You bet. He can carry secret messages in the hidden compartment. Boy, I wish I had a ring like that. Well, let's get then down to business now, Junior. All right. You know, I almost forgot I'm so excited about that ring. But today, Dick Tracy sends his congratulations to all the patrol members who were promoted to the rank of sergeant this week. You know, Dick wants every boy and girl in the patrol to win promotion to the rank of sergeant. So if you haven't started to yet, look in your secret code book and see how you can be appointed a sergeant so you can wear the big special sergeant's badge, too. But let's not forget, Junior, that Dick Tracy wants every real red-blooded American boy and girl to join the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol first. So if you aren't a member now, join right away and show Dick Tracy that you're with him and for him. It's so easy. You just tear off the tops of two packages of Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice or one of each. And then put them in an envelope with your name and address printed on a plain piece of paper and mail them to Dick Tracy, Box L, Chicago. Then you're a full-fledged member of the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol. And you get your secret code book, your patrol pledge, and your member's badge. All free. So send your two Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice box tops to Dick Tracy... Box L, Chicago, fellas and girls. And remember, send the top of the package that says, Three Wrappings Guard It's Christmas. There's probably a package or two of Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice in the pantry right now. Look to see. But if there isn't, Mother will be glad to get some Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice at the grocer, so ask her to get you some. Tell Mother how Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are shot from guns to make them especially easy to digest so that you get their trigger-fast food energy more quickly and easily. Ask her to get some for you. Calling all adventure fans, calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by for another exciting Dick Tracy adventure tomorrow at the same time. That is all. Yeah.